Hello, Aiden. I am the ghost of Christmas future. <laughs> this is uh, episode 29 and a half because Aiden's real scared of turning 30. <laughs> yeah, it's... No matter how old he is, he insists he's never more than... He just keeps adding Whatever another decimal to 29. Default. <laughs> he's putting Mickey's life at risk. He picked the wrong time to piss me off. Right now, I gotta stall Damien. Hey, hey Damien, um... We gotta go to the bank. Damien, mm -hmm. Damien, can I get a ride to the airport, Damien? <laughs> Damien. Why isn't there an airport in this map? Anyway. Where are you? One minute you call me with promises, then nothing? Not a peep? This time, we're gonna meet. In person. How old-fashioned. I've gotta delay Damien so that uh, Clara can set up his we'll surprise talk. birthday party. <laughs> in that case, I pick the place. We lured Damien away from his house and installed several secret cameras. Uh, I thought it would be like an extreme home makeover thing. <laughs> also, maybe Damien won't be so angry anymore once he has all new appliances. Check this out. Your ride's ready. I finally got, got it. The car just literally teleporting right in front of my You're face. <laughs> it's usually really good at hiding it, but it just boop right in front of me that time. Sure do, background character. They sure do. I don't have the data. Damien will know the second he sees me. Maybe I can make that work for me. I can see Dad all you over your face, Aiden. What we found, <laughs> the blackmail Iraq has on them. Yeah, he's painted himself into a corner. I really want some quinkies right now for some reason. I, I'd kill for a quink. <laughs> I'd quink that so hard. <laughs> you didn't bring my data. I didn't bring your sister. We're so predictable. Come on, let's go get a quinky. You made a deal with Bloom. Where did you hear that? You have a problem, Damien. See, that deal hinges on the hard drive. What are you going to tell them if I give you nothing? You're forgetting something. Your sister lives or dies in a phone call. Hmm. Then kill her. Then I'll have the motivation for like a whole trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. I need more women to die so I have more motivation. You almost had me, Aiden. You're not thinking it through, Damien. That deal has sealed your fate. If you kill Nikki, you get nothing from me. If you'd like to buy Damien's hat, you can go to Etsy.com slash Mad Fuzz. <laughs> and uh... To hunt you down. So right now, I'm no help for that beard, though. You should not want that, and I'm got, not going to help you get it. Uh, yeah, that's it's awful. We really are partners, it's really bad. It's just it's like so bad. it doesn't even look like it's facial hair. He just was changing the oil on his yeah. car, and it just dripped in a specific way. He just left it there. Please tell me that Jackson is safe. Who? Jackson's securing some lady a book deal right now. Yeah, he's okay. Look, Nikki, I'm... I know. Just please don't let them... You know something, Aiden? I'm tired of you not taking me seriously. Next time I see you, if you don't have my data, she's dead. Now I'm going to do this thing that makes it difficult for you to accomplish the thing I want you to do! Aha! Aha! My master plan at work. Oh yeah, is this just a... Uh, the news report? Because I've been seeing these pictures for weeks. Yeah. On Channel 7 and Channel 5. <laughs> All this does is it just makes every NPC want to call the police very slowly. But you're a, a hero protector. Yeah, no matter what your reputation is, they always want to call the police. Huh. Yep. There. WKZ van. We gotta shut it down. It would have been interesting if certain missions were either easier or harder, depending on what your reputation is, but nope. Oh, like if, uh, if you were a, a bad guy vigilante, everybody knew you were dirty, so, uh, you'd have, like, a, a bribe option for, for, like, getting some things from thugs? Yeah, yeah, something like that. And then this one, like, nobody cares, they just, like, cheer. Yeah, this is like, oh shit, it's the vigilante. I'm not gonna call. He's Batman. He's cool. 
You're making this too hard, Aiden. Don't force me to show you up. You got nothing to show me. Wrong again. You know those fancy tricks you do with CTOS? I've been watching and learning. Want to see what I can do? And that's how I'm... smart cars are born. <laughs> <laughs> So this mission can be super irritating because on top of having to chase that dude down, the map just constantly spawns, uh, call the police circles. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to call CTOS search circles or whatever. Uh, and no matter how many times you delay those circles with your, your hacks, they, they just keep coming. Uh, so the easier way to do this is with a is, rocket launcher. Uh, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Just kind of block him off for a second. You got nothing to show me. Wrong again. And then... Uh, yeah, don't care. We already blew it up. Uh, yeah. This is when a deal with the devil gets me. And then to, like, escape, you just kind of have to let yourself get caught by the police so then you can get the objective, escape the police. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Damien has learned all of Aiden's hacking tricks that he just got downloaded onto his phone. <laughs> hey look, Chicago tops the list of economically diverse cities. That's nice. It's also for lovers. Oh, what the fuck? Chicago wouldn't lose to Montreal. Fuck you. We're gonna get her back. I think I know how to find her. I heard a PA sound in our call way in the background. The voice said something, a name or a place. You think you can clean the audio? Try to make out what he's saying? Yeah, audio wizardry ain't my thing. Send me what you got. I'm sure I can do something. Okay. I'm heading back to the bunker. No, 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 no! We got one more job. You won't believe what I found. Default love shack. Let's I think I found a love shack right garage. here. Yeah. It's a stop for the number 62. Oh, shit, T-Bone, be really quiet. I think I know where default is. I think that dude's default. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a really easy distinguishing mark on default even when he's not wearing his hat, and it's the giant stab wound in his chest from his hat. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you may remember the, the making out NPCs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are the making out NPCs also, but with a completely different take of make out lines. Also, under investigation for credit fraud, Fraud investigation <laughs> officer! Wait a minute! What a meat cute this is! What the? That is one in depth investigation. Yeah, what, uh, there are multiple, there are multiple possibilities here. That dude knows. This is a really undercover investigation. Oh, get under some or, covers, alright. <laughs> whoa, I almost said deep investigation too. <laughs> Look out. He has a gun. Raping Reaper is trying to. <laughs> Oh, good. Hack me. Now the hacker. I am not a rapist. I am not a rapist. <laughs> Anybody? Is any of you reapers? A rapist. Anybody here a rapist or a reaper? Hello? Perhaps both? Cars would never be there. <laughs> Cars would never be there. That's the mark of a reaper. <laughs> <laughs> or a rapist. I don't know. Take that. You just beat a middle-aged woman! Well, <laughs> she's trying to hack me! <laughs> she's the raping raper, okay? <laughs> I like your little, uh, fruit logo. Oh yeah, that, that's been my, um, logo for a very long time. Wait, who's spitting in the river? <laughs> Fuck them up! Who spat in that river? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That man's just exercising. Anyway, we, we were about to get some coffee. Yeah. We've got Default's location. Now, we'll take back what he stole. If he sells Iraq's blackmail on the open market, this has all been for nothing. Whether it disappears or it goes public, I'll have nothing left to offer Damien. Bum bum bum. Oh man, way 
hit pay dirt. This dude loves macchiatos. <laughs> See what I found. They call him Mr. Pumpkin Spice. They put the webcam -y thing in an annoying spot. Hack that. Hack it. Hack that thing. It is hacked. I like the optical illusion with the tape. T-Bone, wrap it up. It's just a motherboard, dude. <laughs> I don't know what could be so prototype about it. It probably means it would be shitty, T-Bone. Default surrounds him. Envelops him. <gasps> oh, no. Where is he? He's probably having sex with the motherboard. Kids got fixers Good job, T-Bone. As long as he wraps it up first. Mm -hmm. You don't want to, you know, be a father to a bunch of SIM cards in nine months. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just put it in, uh, just wrap it in that, that, uh, the, the magnetic packaging motherboards mm -hmm. come in. Or not the magnetic, the anti-static packaging. Man, if I just had ten minutes more. What did you find? Huh? On his computer. Right. A, a weakness. I found a weakness in there. If you hit it with a baseball bat, it don't work good. Like, on his <laughs> It's a security measure, I guess, but he ain't as secure as he'd like to think. What are you saying? We find him, we can steal the data back? And he won't know it. Thinks he can fuck with Raymond Kenny. He has no idea who he's up against. The vaguely oh. Canadian man with a gun? <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Raymond Kenny is a raconteur. It says so. <laughs> You're supposed to guide Kenny through there, but it's really easy to get caught here. Uh, and it's actually no, just way do. easier to knock everybody out and then just tell <gasps> Kenny to go. <laughs> but you can hack some of the, uh, that orange cube thing there, you can hack it to, like, turn it into mm -hmm. cover, but it's not actually useful in any way, so it was almost a cool idea, like, hacking these different things to, to make new avenues for T-Bone to go through, okay, but move. there's only one of them to mm -hmm. hack, so I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Seems like a cool place to buy a car. Take the car and get out of here, quick. I'll call you when I'm clear. Don't get yourself killed. What? No, wait. Let's just ride together. <laughs> Let's share an Uber. Let's Kenny, split wait. It. Let's split that car. Kenny, wait. God dang it, T-Bone. I'm done defending you. I take it all back. T-Bone, come back. I have some words to say to you personally and not over the phone. Yeah, he's got access. This, the soundtrack is now like the, the breakup song between Aiden and T-Bone. <laughs> T-Bone! Hey, buddy! Look, I know you have social anxiety problems sometimes, but this is not the way to deal with it. I'm right here, talk to me. Just let me in, T-Bone, just let me in. T-Bone, let me in your car! Nice paint job, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, T-Bone! Well... Oh, you T-Boned him back. Bye. Yeah, I T-Bone, T-Bone. How the hell did he manage to shake us off? I'm an adult man. Vulnerability detected. Emotional vulnerability. <laughs> yeah, it's true. How the hell did he get a Look at his Well, this is a fun little tunnel. I like this place. Yeah. Bears, you heard of a place called Dot Connection? Everybody in Chicago's heard of it. It's my favorite dating app. Yeah. Seems to be default local haunt. 
Is that all you got? Oh, and I found a six gig USB stick full of lesbian porn. You want that too? Six gigabytes? That's like 2008 era. Get that shit out of here, T-Bone.